They're building something new. Structures need a special design. So that's why I'm thinking that we don't put anything on the short edge. Work gives purpose to the block. 161st Street off Grand Concourse and close to Yankee Stadium is a busy place. It's one of those locations where sometimes you could really use a place to sit down in the shade. People need to live and to enjoy themselves. One of the top requests for the area was more seating and more shade. That's good. Now I'll tell you where that goes after they're done screwing everything. This is also a sign of new plans to tap into the potential of the plaza. We essentially want to have this be kind of like what you see in other parts of the city. You see it in Flatiron, you see it in Dumbo, you see it in uh, um, downtown Brooklyn. The Bronx deserves this as well. Trey Jenkins is the executive director of the 161st Street Business Improvement District. He has big plans for the area and with local businesses and neighbors around Grand Concourse. We want to have more people here gathering throughout the day. This is essentially a, a place within a space where we can do activations, we can do e events, concerts. Grab the sandwich and come out here. Andy. Why not? That's a cool idea. Now there's a place to sit in the shade. Before today, the benches were a seat with a little too much sizzle in the sun. Court Deli Restaurant is on the corner of 161st in the plaza. Peter's been on the block for going on three decades. It gives them that refreshing feeling. You know, this is new for the neighborhood. Uh, and of course, it helps the business. Public space is in demand around the city. Designers, neighbors, and civic groups are working on ideas for different spaces. It doesn't have to be something that is so formalized and so expensive that people are having a hard time imagining how that could happen in their neighborhood. Reclaiming open space and um, making it relevant, and not only relevant, but making it a lot more um, useful and usable is so important. Tuesday's inaugural concert uh, features some Latin music and R&B as well. Two other locations in the city for now are being looked at for a similar project. In the Grand Concourse neighborhood of the Bronx, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.